Yes, the game actually starts right up I-85 tonight. The rematch from 10 days ago between the Falcons and the Panthers. Of course, the Falcons were on the winning side of a crazy game that went into overtime, 37-34. And part of what brought that game to overtime, at least on the Panther side, was the play of one Derrick Brown, who had 12 tackles, five of those solo, a half a sack, and a, a tackle for loss. However, Jarvis, those stats really don't tell the tale of how disruptive Derek was. So yeah. we have that that you know kind of cliche statement in sports where we say, "Hey, you cannot stop so and so. You can only try to contain." So I'm going to ask you, how might how might the Falcons figure out how to maybe contain Derek Brown? Maybe uh, is it a draft going on? This morning, <laughs> I'm trying to find live results of the NFL. Uh, what's the word? Uh, uh, um, the uh, supplemental draft. There's a supplemental draft going on right now for for the Atlanta Falcons. But no, but all seriousness though, I think that um, Drew Dahmer has to play a little bit better. Uh, I think that's a start. And then I think that COVID Gossett, who's going to be come, um, starting in place of Matt Hennessy, mm -hmm. who uh, who went down last week, and he's on IR. We found out that he's on, on been moved to the IR this week. Uh, a lot of double teams, T. A lot of double teams. If, if, if you think that Drew Dahlman has him and you're thinking about going up to that next level, Kobe, uh, stay right there. Yeah. Hold what you got. <laughs> because uh, you you um, you have to expect Rashawn Evans like, hey, Rashawn, um, you're going to probably have to get off that block this week because – we got to handle this up first because mm -hmm. that's your immediate threat. When, that, when you're talking about an interior defensive lineman getting 12 tackles, T, yes. I'm talking about third and shorts. You're just going back and looking at the film, you see third and short or, mm -hmm. or, or maybe even fourth down mm -hmm. um, when they went, went forward or have, might have gone forward. But yeah. on, definitely on third and short, you just see Derrick Brown just moving Dalman right onto the ball. Yep. And as soon as the running back gets right there and the, he makes the, make, the running back make a decision, boom, mm -hmm. he right immediately there. get rid of him, mm -hmm. make the tackle, put him down right there. All mm -hmm. right. So, you know, a punt team, you know, those are the type of things that you can't have consistently. Now, Derrick Brown, like you mentioned, Derrick Brown is an excellent football player. He's mm -hmm. great. Coming out of Auburn, I thought he was probably one of the best defensive tackle coming out in that particular draft class. However, like you have to have – in certain spots in certain moments you got to make sure there is a concerted effort in your mind mm -hmm. both of you guys center left guard hey we know if we running this play this way we're running this outside zone this way mm -hmm. i'm going to make sure that Dalman has his both of his hands on him and his butt between the the man and the ball and the running back you know on that particular play before i go up to that next level and try to get up to that um line, to shaq thompson or or whoever the uh panthers may have waiting on him so i think that's the main thing you got to make sure that you're it's top of mind that hey if i'm helping out drew i got to make sure that he has him before i, I move on yeah agree and on the and the good thing about this is on some level the falcons were able to still get it done right. because they yep. still had 137 yards right. on the ground they and marcus mariota still had around 232 yards i believe in the air so there mm -hmm. were still some ways that they were able to neutralize derrick brown on some level and they won the game right it's just a matter of just like anywhere else i'm sure steve wilkes and company we're sitting down trying to figure out how to retool it so that they're on the winning side. So you want to look at, like you said, adjustments, maybe just minor tweaks that a Drew, Drew Dahlman has to make and that a Colby Gossett has to be prepared for. And then on the flip side, you look at what the Falcons have to prepare for. The Panthers didn't go off on the ground nearly as much as the Falcons did, but that may be because their quarterback had just a slightly better game, so to speak. Um, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit than, than Marcus Mariota. But yeah. The reality still is that Dante Foreman did have 118 yards and just and three touchdowns, three right. touchdowns in that Come game on. 10 days ago. So you really want to look at him as well and say, hey, on the flip side, what does the Falcons defense, what does Dean Pete have to do in order to neutralize their ground game? To be honest with you, guys just have to get off the block, get off blocks, T, because a lot of times what, it, what you see on on, on – watching this team on film is the fact mm -hmm. that they just get comfortable with you. Hey, poop, locking out, you know, trying to wait until the ball gets there and then they try to shed the block. No, y'all need to try to get up field and get, get some penetration and, 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 and make those offensive linemen move their feet because 
they just get in there, get engaged, and they don't can't find ways to disengage to be able to make tackles. And all you see in guys being blocked and taken to the ground because they reach and trying to make blocks, and mm-hmm. and they and they running back is skiing on to the to the next level. And, and by the time he gets there, it's too late. Yeah. When you think about trying to what, what it takes to, to stop a run game because you have to reset that line of scrimmage right and you do that by getting that penetration and i'm charging grady jared this game too mm-hmm. I, I think this is a big game for him because yeah. he got he he was neutralized last week now granted there was he was going up against an excellent offensive line yeah a young good the young offensive line as mm-hmm. well um the interior offensive line for the charges yeah are pretty solid yeah. so i yeah. think that you know i'm not def, i'm definitely not down him for not having one of his what we used to seeing on on, mm-hmm. on, on film as, as far as how that goes but I, I do think that it starts with that interior i think take one graham it's time for him to kind of like hey man come on we need mm-hmm. you this is your strength right yeah. this is this your strength is stopping the run that's your, that's what you excel at that's what you need to continue to do and show that and those two guys grady and take one i think it's gonna this is gonna be a big game for them because yeah. 26 carries for 118 yards and three tubs that is unacceptable. I'm sorry. Yeah, absolutely unacceptable. And what else is unacceptable is if all you do is check out ATL Day Ones and you don't stop by Locked On Sports today. Now, Locked On Sports today, that should be at least your second listen after you listen to us or watch us as well. Because if you want the biggest stories of the day overall, instant reactions, big game recaps, and their version of For the Culture, which they call Take of the Day, then you need to check on Locked on sports today now where can you get it it's available on the odyssey app it's available on youtube and of course wherever you download your podcast wherever you download us download them as well again check out locked on sports today because of course we're going to give you the picture right here for the falcons and for the nfc south but they are going to give you the bigger picture of the nfl and sports overall now jarvis you mentioned something that is a good point Look at Taquan Graham. And of course, you know, TQ had that um, untimely fumble in the game mm-hmm. last week. I'm sure he's going to look to redeem himself. And like you said, when you look at TQ's and Grady's numbers uh, last week, they had a, com- uh, excuse me, 10 days ago, rather, they had a combined 11 tackles and only three for loss. So yeah, they definitely have some room for improvement and I expect it to be better for them tonight. Also looking for some improvement for Marcus Mariota and Kyle Pitts. That is something that we continue yeah. to say. We're talking about Kyle Pitts basically at this point, Jarvis, being about 200 yards under where he was a year ago. And granted, we know it's not all about yardage, but 200 yards relative to where you were at this point last year is disconcerting. And then again, when you look at the numbers in terms of what they were able to do in that game, that was one of the better games. That was mm-hmm. Kyle's best game where he got his first touchdown this season. Um, on U.S. soil, that is. He Uh, had five catches for 80 uh, yards, if you will, and he actually had nine targets. But again, Jarvis, when you're looking at what Kyle Pitts is able to do and how he and Mariota still haven't quite gotten in sync, how can they maybe beckon or harken back to what they did 10 days ago and make that even more productive tonight? I I think that, first of all, you have to start off by establishing the run game, right? And I think that him being a first that first option coming off that play action it, it helps as well because i think marcus Mariota has done a really good job of that coming out of that play action yes. off the success of the run game and hitting that finding that first target he's been he's been done well with that with um drake london as well mm-hmm. uh, and i think those two those two the guys you kind of have to get the ball to them in the same manner right you know yeah. being that first read coming off of that play yeah. action or if you're doing straight drop back which they don't do that much right but i i think that when they do do it it, it definitely needs to be like i said a simple read you know first mm-hmm. uh, first read if it's not there I'm, I'm taking off or if mm-hmm. it, if the first read is not there i'm checking down to my running back tyler yeah. Algier, he's shown that he can be able to you know catch the ball out of the backfield mm-hmm. and make a play and make people miss or run through people um so i, I think that it's just a matter of continue to do what they do yeah. but, and it starts with the run game if they have mm-hmm. success in the run running the football like they did last time they played the carolina panthers down here at mercedes-benz stadium i think they can find cal pitts coming off that play action because those linebackers fly up when when the Falcons are running the football well, and I think that that's all you need is those running backs to take that that half a step or a, a, a step towards the, uh, a full step towards a line of scrimmage, mm-hmm. and then Kyle Pitts can easily get behind those guys, and you can find them find them find them in either one of those windows. 
Yeah, I'll definitely be interested to see if KP is indeed the first read for Mariota, because I do want to see if we get an opportunity to maybe take a peek into what worked a week and a half ago and what I think can work even more effectively tonight. Now, speaking of effective, as you guys know, Jarvis and I are always looking for whatever can make us effective in our healthy living pursuits. Yes, and you know that yes. starts and stops for us with Bill Bar Pups. So if you haven't had them yet, that's a you issue. But we have had them. <laughs> and hopefully it won't be a you issue anymore. And it'll be your new favorite, particularly the cookie dough chunk puffs. They are pretty light. They're chewy. And listen, the reason we like them so much is in addition to them being 100% real chocolate, we're talking about just 160 calories in a bar, but more importantly, 15 grams of protein that's pretty easy to digest. So I think you guys should just go ahead and snag a box. You should go to their website and check it out. So listen, we're talking about a 15% off discount as well. I know you love to hear that. And if you go to build.com just after you watch this show and you put in the locked on 15 code, you're gonna get 15% off that order. Again, that's locked on 15. Go ahead and plug that into build.com and go on this healthy journey with us. <laughs> 